Okay, real quick here, this was posted in the uh, comments section. A link to this was posted in the comments section of my video on did James White get a tattoo. It says something very interesting here. Um, this is James White writing a comment somebody asked about the tattoo thing. He says, I've addressed the primary biblical issue of Leviticus 19.28 on the DL a number of times as an example of being careful about assumptions. Disputed you know, he gives the Hebrew word here and stuff like that. Parallel in 14.1, the real issue is it's for the dead. So in other words, it's okay to get tattoos. It's just the only thing being condemned in Scripture is when you get them for the dead and uh, it's kind of a thing. And See, these guys, they, they, they take little words and they'll just twist things and tweak things and shades and nuances of meaning and everything. Yeah, uh-huh. It's called tweaking things to, to so that you don't you know get condemned for your sin is the whole thing. He says something very telling here. That places the issue of body art in the Romans 14 category. Absolute total lie. Despite strong feelings based upon traditions that often enter the discussion. Okay. Um, show me anywhere in scripture where a Christian is doing this kind of a thing. Printing marks upon their body. The item to which you refer is a Cairo, the first two Greek letters of Christ, with the traditional Alpha and Omega along the sides. My sons and some brothers have all gotten the symbol. Here we go. Here we go. As it speaks to us of the Lordship of Christ. Hmm. You can read the rest of it there. I'm not going to waste time. But the whole point is, um, they got a mark upon their body because it speaks to them of the Lordship of Christ. You say, oh, come on. Now you're reading into this thing. Am I really? James White does not believe in the rapture. He's reformed. Reform says, although there is no such thing as this coming time of Jacob's trouble and whatever else, they're post-millennial. I guarantee you he doesn't believe in the rapture. You know, so he's going to, he, if you'd say, you know, I mean, well, he would say probably that there's no time of Jacob's trouble. There, you know, the Antichrist is symbolic or some kind of thing like Reformed theologians teach. It's symbolic of the Catholic Church or something like this. Stupid nonsense. But you see, what's happening is this man who's leading a lot of people away from fundamentalist circles and saying, oh, come listen to me, come listen to me. You don't need the King James Bible. Uh, look, I'm debating Catholics and I'm debating this and I'm debating that. And he plays his little word games and people go, oh, our hero, he, he's, a, he's a master debater and stuff like this. You know, and they think that that somehow qualifies him as a good preacher. It's ridiculous. But see, what he's doing is he's leading all these young people over. You know, and he's getting them in and, oh, look, I got a tattoo because it's my uh, mark of allegiance, of lordship of Christ in my life. What do you think he's going to do when the Antichrist shows up? I and mean, he's not saved. He's going to be going, you know, he's not going up at the catching away of the bride of Christ. Um, he's going to be here. What do you think he's going to do when the Antichrist shows up, claiming to be, claiming to be, oh, if I can get it out, claiming to be Jesus Christ? <laughs> what do you think he's going to do? Upon the forehead. Mm -hmm. It's funny that he would put the PX on his tattoo it on his arm because the Catholic priests are the only ones that ever wore that. They'll wear it right there. PX. Hmm. Very interesting. 